What is going on y'all? Safety Steve here. Today we're going to do a review on the Faxon FX19 Patriot. Alright y'all, we got the Faxon FX19 Patriot with us today and we're going to do a quick review here in the classroom and then we'll head out to the range and do some shooting. So first things first, the gun is completely empty. We have no live ammunition anywhere around us while we do this tabletop review uh, for safety. Remember, always be safe guys. Uh, so first things first, this is Faxon's introduction into the custom Glock world. So Faxon decided to make a Glock 19 variant but of their own machining in-house. Uh, Faxon started out making match grade barrels for ARs and Glocks and this is their first firearm that they came up with in the pistol line. So I wanted to go over this real quick. Uh, we're going to start at the front. It starts off with this beautiful flame fluted match grade Glock 19 Faxon barrel. Uh, from there we have everything is machined in house and this slide is just has huge gnarly cutouts all over it which are very very aggressive. Um, no issue whatsoever grabbing the slide anywhere and racking it with no slip. So from there we are going to go to the optic cut. This comes with an optic cut for an RMR or a Holosun 507C and they have posts drilled in there to help with the recoil um, and keep everything nice and located so that it doesn't move at all once it's installed. So from there guys we're going to go to the sights. We have these fiber optic front raised sight as well as the blacked out rear sight here and these are lower one-third co-witness for your red dot so they're raised so once you put a dot on it you'll have a lower one-third co-witness through these sights. So after that we're going to go down to the frame this is a custom Faxon PF940C frame. So they have their own logo on there. It's basically a Polymer 80 frame that they have licensed out and made little tweaks to to make it their own. So they have awesome cuts in here. Um, your stippling is very, very nice on this. It's very aggressive. I like aggressive stippling. That way it keeps the firearm in your hands even when they're a little sweaty. So from there we're going to go to the 1911 grip angle. So a normal Glock has a big curve here at the end. These frames right here have the 1911 style grip angle which in my opinion is the best grip angle out there because every time you present that firearm the sights are just right there you don't have to move much at all so after that guys we have a normal non extended slide release which I like that a lot a lot of people have issues pressing that up with their grip if they have such a high grip on it um, so this one is not extended at all, so you shouldn't have any issues, as well as they have this awesome um, extent coming out here, just kind of protecting that for you. Alright guys, so from there we're going to go down to the extended magazine release. Um, it's a little bit shorter than what I would like. I like it when it comes out a little bit longer on the newer Glocks. Um, but this is extended out and you have no issue whatsoever pushing it and ejecting that magazine. They have a nice little cutout that kind of flows your thumb right to it. So right after that, 
I'm gonna go down to this wonderful double cut that they have in here. So this cut is really, really nice and helps you get a really high purchase on that pistol. And it helps with recoil management a lot. So I'm really glad that they did that big double undercut. So after that, we have a 1913 Picatinny rail. So you guys can attach any kind of uh, lights, lasers you would like to it. We put on the TLR-7A because this is a um, concealed carry version. So we're going to use this as a carry gun. So I wanted the smaller, thinner profile of the 7A. So after that, guys, we have this awesome Overwatch precision trigger on here. So I'll show you real quick. We have just a little bit of play before the wall. The wall is at a perfect 90 degree angle and it's just a glass break from there. So I'll show you guys the reset real quick. Nice loud tactile reset. We're right there on that 90 degree wall and then we're just going to snap right through it. Alright, so this trigger comes in at about 4 to 5 pounds, which is great for a self-defense concealed carry firearm because you want that heavier weight when your adrenaline is pumping. That way you don't accidentally set any shots off at all. So I really like that about this trigger and this firearm and great for Faxon for doing that. So I think that pretty much covers it, y'all. We're going to go ahead and load up some magazines and we're going to head out to the range and do some shooting. But before we do that, I wanted to say thank you guys very much for watching this video. Please hit that like, subscribe button. And if you guys have any questions at all, get in that comment section and let us know. And we'll get back to every single one of you guys. It might take a little bit, but we'll get back to you, I promise. Um, other than that, let's load up some mags and let's get out to the range. Safe Steve out. What's going on, y'all? Safety Steve here. So we're out at the range. We have our Faxon FX19 Patriot with us. We got a, quite a bit of mags with us. So let's run around and do some shooting. Let's try the big clip now. I think that'll work, guys. All right, don't forget, check out Faxon's FX19 Patriot.